In this video, I'm going to show you three feature tips for Cartoon Animator that you probably didn't know, including how to move bones around independently in the Composer's Bone Editor, how the reset button works in the 2D Motion Key Editor, and how to create your own custom motions without using the Collect Clip button. So let's get straight into it, shall we? So this first feature is a really simple one, and you may or may not know this one. If you don't know it, it's going to really change your life. If you do, then why have you been keeping it to yourself? So here we are. I've got my Tet avatar on the stage, and let's say I wanted to go in and edit some bones in this character's spring hair or in the body, just readjust them. I'd go into the Composer and open up the bone editor here and let's say I just wanted to maybe adjust the position of this hip bone here so it's more central perhaps and what you might do is go in click on that bone start moving it and oh no every other bone is moving as well and that's not what I wanted and I don't want to have to go back and readjust every other bone after that so this tip here or this feature is if you hold down the E key on your keyboard and then move this blue square around of the bone that you have selected, now you can just adjust that bone without affecting any of the other bones that it's connected to. And it also works with your spring bones. So if I go into face bones, you can see this character has some spring bones in the hair. And let's say I just wanted to adjust this bone here if I start moving it. All of the child bones start moving as well. That's not what I wanted. Just undo that. Hold down the E key on the keyboard. And now when I click and drag, I can move just the bone that I wanted to change. So it's a really simple feature. If you do know it, it's great. If you didn't know it, that's going to change your life when it comes to editing bones on your character. In this tip, we're going to look at how the reset button works in the 2d motion key editor so on the stage here i have my tet avatar set up and i've created a little bit of animation with him very rough sort of talking animation just for the purpose of this demonstration so this is what we've got it's just a little sort of talking action it's very rough could probably do with a lot of cleaning up but it'll do for this demonstration so what we're going to do is go into the timeline first so you can see what's happening here uh, i've got the motion track on and all of these uh, all of that motion you saw there was from pre-made motions and everything you see here is what the pre-made motions added to the timeline so i'm going to select my character and open up the 2D motion key editor. Now it's a popular misconception that the reset button resets the character back to a position like this of just standing. That's not exactly what it does. And I'm going to demonstrate this by going to the end of my animation out here. And you'll see here at the end, move the motion key editor over a bit. We've got this talk motion here where the character raises his arms and then we've got this end talk motion here that returns the character back to this position and what i'm going to do is take this end motion move it completely out of the way so that now when we get to the end of this motion the character's arms are sitting up in the air it doesn't the character itself is not returned to that nice standing position and you might think we're out of the motion here in the timeline, I'm going to reset that character, hit the reset button, nothing happens other than we've got these keyframes being added here. But all the reset button is actually doing is returning the character back to whatever position it was in, in the default previous keyframe prior to this one that you've just set the reset button on. So if I undo that, and now on this frame, which is well past the end of that motion i decide to raise the character's arms up a bit more say so let's just go the whole way really stretch his arms out like so you can see he's going to do this weird kind of motion here and now if i click the reset button on that frame where i just made those adjustments 
can see the pose is returned to whatever the previous keyframe was. So that's pretty much this one here. If I move back to here, you can see there's no movement because this reset button has set up a key that's exactly the same as what the character was positioned in from here. That's how the reset button works. And let's say if I make some adjustments actually inside uh, my motion file, let's say I moved his arms down here and moved that one up there. So we're now inside the motion file and all those changes are sort of reflected. But if I now go back to the position that I just made those changes and hit the reset button, the arms are returned back to whatever the position they should have been in for that movement there. So hopefully that's cleared up the reset button for you. It doesn't reset the character back to a nice pose like that, where it's in a neutral position, ready for you to do something else. It just resets the character back to whatever the last keyframe was prior to uh, whatever you, the position that you've set the reset button on. So in this feature, I'm going to show you how you can save motions from your character for use with other characters uh, by using the player selection flags to select the motions that you want to save and apply to other characters. And if that explanation isn't clear, uh, hopefully the actual demonstration will clear up what I mean. So on the stage here, I've got my Tet avatar and I've got my Ready the Color Monkey character. They're both G3 characters. The Tet avatar has got the animation from the previous tip all in there, my rough sort of talking animation. And what I'm going to do is save out selected portions of his movements and apply them to Ready over here. So to do that, I'm going to open the timeline, select my Tet character, and we're going to choose a section of his movement. So let's say start with something relatively in the middle of these things. We've got this pose stand motion here. Then we've got the starting to talk motion here. And then we've got this one where he's waving his arms about. So I'll go from the middle of this motion and we'll move the little playhead flag selection tool here over to that. And then we'll go to about the middle of that motion there where my character's got his hand in the air. And we'll get the other flag over here and bring that over to mark the end of the motion. So you can see now if I play the animation, it's just that little bit that you're going to see. And I can now save that motion out to my custom folder. Go to animation 2D and I'm going to make a custom subfolder so we can see all these motions I'm saving. Demo motions okay go into that folder so with my character selected and i've got my two playhead selection flags on the area i want to save all i need to do now is go save make sure the asset type is set to animation 2d motion we'll give it a name we'll call it uh, we'll just call it 01 raise arms go okay uh, we won't worry about thumbnails at the moment. Uh, you can go back and change the thumbnails just by right-clicking and doing a capture thumbnail if that bothers you. But now that we've done that, see if we can select. Actually, we'll make sure we're on the start here of this motion and we'll apply this motion to Ready just by selecting him, double-clicking on that. And you'll see he's perfectly mirrored my Tet Avatar's movement. If we look at his motion track, see it's got the raise arm fire motion here that we just saved. So let's do this again. We'll save something else from this motion. We'll move these flags on the player out. And let's see what else can we add to Reddy's movement. Now we go arms from the side, so we'll add the starting flag there. Those arms are down at his side. And bring them up to a fold. Go to about there. Bring up the other selection flag. Play a selection flag there. Bring it over. Add it to the end of our motion. So now 
we play just that bit of animation. We're going from straight arms to folded arms. So the character selected, and again, we're in our 2D motion file demo, demo motions. We go save, and we'll just call this one 02 cross arms. Go OK, and again, won't worry about the thumbnail. And this time, instead of, oh, I'll just show you straight up adding that to ready so that you can see that he's mirroring exactly that pose. So apply that save motion here. There you go, if we press play, he's mirroring that exact motion. And you could do this to build up uh, other motions really quickly. So if I now go back and reset my flags where they were when we started, this one should be at about 293. 293. My other flag here. So you can see those are the two motions that I just gave ready, but we could move them up and maybe start building a motion for him. Blend this motion so it's not quite so jarring when he makes a change. You can see now if I play this, it will no longer be mirroring, mirroring my tet avatar. It'll be playing from the start and ready will be doing just those motions that I add to him and moved up to the beginning of the timeline. So let's play that. There you go, it's as simple as that to save out motions out to the content manager. You don't have to do um, collect clip or anything like that if you're just picking out sections of the motion track and you're not so concerned about wanting to have all the sprite information sort of included in there. Although you'll notice Reddy's hands sprites are changing. He's a sprite hand character as well, just like my Tet avatar. He's got slightly different sprite hand positions to uh, this cat avatar, so you can see the hands are a little different. But anyway, that's a quick way to put together some motions. And of course, if you wanted to, you could then take all of that, go collect clip, take that as one movement, right click, and we're going to add it to Ready's action menu, call it raise and cross arms okay and if we went back to the start of the animation and removed all the animation from ready see now he's all completely clear of animation if i press play he's not moving i right click on him go to his action menu to raise and cross arms and there you go now we've got that action that we built up from two sections out of my tet avatar into one complete motion that we have put on his action menu. Hopefully you'll find that feature particularly useful and it'll make it a little easier for you to build up your own motions by sort of patching together bits out of existing motions. So hopefully you found those tips useful and perhaps even learnt something new. If you have any tips for using Cartoon Animator that you don't see other people using, feel free to share them in the comments below and perhaps I'll include them in a future video. So that's it for this video. Until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.